Hey. What's up, good man? <laughs> good bro. I can't even talk to you in a, a serious conversation. I know that, yo. But nah, so we were talking about it earlier though. And um, I was saying, you disappeared for a little bit. Yeah. And you came back a Q and shit. Okay. So what was like, what made you want to do that though? Uh, it, number one, it was something I wanted to do for a while. And number two, I saw opportunity in it. Uh, I saw what I can bring to the frat and what the frat can do for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was one of those things where it was like, Taking a step out on faith, I say, because uh, you know from Baltimore, one we know what that stuff is like. Like when we get introduced to it, it's like golly, you know. But the fact I saw so many Baltimore dudes in it that was from you know the city and like from actually like the hood, like faces I recognize. I'm like, dang, like it must be like you know what I'm saying. It must be something good. Like they ain't bloods, they ain't crips, but they like cues, like you know. So so I do my research a little bit and seeing like the greatness that was in it and, and like yo, you know, I, it was something I felt like I can I can grow in and something that can help me grow. This is not your first time doing it. Right. This is like your second time around. Very true. So why this time and why not last time, I guess? Uh, it's one of them things where I can see you got to step outside yourself. Um, like, you know, I, I believe we, like, when we grown up, we really grown up in a selfish mentality. It's like, well, get yours while you can, you know? Like, don't let nobody touch this. Like, my mother always say, don't let nobody come to your house and mess your stuff up and then they go home and do this. So I used to always be like, oh, this is mine, it's mine, it's mine. And I never was the type to really like make sacrifices or on on that level for somebody else. Uh, but the, it's one of those things where you know it, it bring it bring it out for it may make you step outside yourself a lot. And one of the things you mentally got to get prepared for and financially got to get prepared for. So it's definitely a journey, uh, and it, it it's like a lesson in life. Like I believe it's a process in the, like 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 in life. Like life is a process by itself. Right. You feel me? But within life, everybody has their own process. You feel me? So it's like, all right, yeah, we all living, but it might take this person a lot more work to get to this goal than it takes this person to get to that goal. Right. But in the day, y'all kind of get into the same goal. And yeah, time matters. Time has a part, plays a part in when it happens. But when it happens, you don't think nothing about the past. Right. You know, it's like, man, anything that happened before this don't even matter anymore. So I just feel like for me, it was just one of those things. So I guess I'm assuming, like you say, in life we be we like we were born and taught to be selfish. So I guess the first time you was going around, you was like, oh, I can't do this because of something you had going on. I'm trying to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and I'll say that. And that's what I'll say. Like, right. like and that, that's exactly what I'm saying. Like, it's like, all right, you know, well, I don't have the time to do this right now because I want to accomplish this. But at the end of the day, stuff always going to be going on in life. You're always going to have financial problems. You're always going to have family issues. You're always going to have girlfriend problems. You know, and it's just one of them never ending things. But it's about what we mentally put our focus on at the time. But right. that's something that you got to learn over time, you know, like that, that doesn't come overnight. Uh, and, and it's one of the things that I had to personally learn myself. And I, I feel like as humans, especially as men, we one of those characters and creatures where we got to learn the hard way. You know, somebody, somebody hand like, Yo, don't put your hand on the stove because it's going to be too hot. Yeah, you're you like, like, yeah, all right, well, let me see how hot it is. I probably can take it. You probably can take it. Exactly. too hot for you. It was, so, it was one of the days people, people always told me, like, Yo, like, regardless of what's going on, that's always going to happen. And, you know, oh, the worst stuff might happen during this time. Well, it might seem like the world kind of crashing down, but it's like, yeah, I hear y'all, but I don't really hear y'all. But when I saw it for myself, it was like, like you said, the prior times, you know what I'm saying, when I did stop, it's like, dang, then I, I stopped. And this stuff's still happening. Right. Stuff probably got worse, you know what I'm saying? And, and it's like, all right, why not just stick it out through it? That way I accomplish something. And it's a lifelong thing. Like, once you win it, you win it. Like, that, like that's it. Like, nobody can take it away. It's like having a kid. Like, nobody can take it away from you. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Like, everything that you accomplished was kind of worth it because it's, like, it's joy, joy sweeter. No, that's you know what I'm saying? saying? So, I, I mean, as long as I know you've been, like, lit on Instagram and social media, right? Right. So, I know when we do these processes, because I, I had to do it myself. Stepping away from that platform, the social media platform, having that and that being your business, and yeah. you working in it, you get what I'm saying? Having to step away from, I guess we could say your job, yeah. to complete yeah. this That's task. What true. was the hardest part in doing it? Uh, man, the hardest part was watching everybody progress. Right. <laughs> like, really, li- like, literally watching it. Like, like, literally, like, dang, this person throwing shows, or this person linked up with this person, or this person on this TV show, or that TV show, or this person dropping this video, this person got this many followers. It, it was people who had less followers than me that blew past me, you know what I'm saying, in the years that it took me to accomplish the goal I was, I was seeking to accomplish. And that was the hardest part, you know. And then, like, one of the things I can say was kind of watching my relationships diminish. Uh, like, like, people that, that I was tight with, man, it was people, like, we were, like, 
we were like this, and they kind of like seeing me, all right, you know, oh, he's not on his comedy game no more, oh, there's no need for us to talk, and they just kind of like skated out on me, and you know, I ain't never get a text message that was like, oh, how you doing, how was school, like, the friends that I did get it from, I really cherish and appreciate it, and that was my, that was my, that's what I focused on, because I didn't want to focus on the people who weren't, I felt like that would have kind of tore me down a lot more than, than what it actually was, but the people that was, I really tried to focus on, like, I had a few friends, like Taz, Smooth, Will, you know, they, they would literally would pull up to Bowie and just be like, yo, what you doing today, bro, like, you know, like, like, really just sit on campus with me, probably talk to me for a little bit, and they kind of felt what I was going through a little bit, but, one of the hardest, one of the hardest things I can say was watching and feeling like everybody was progressing. But the day that I finished, and like that final day, and when I had the freedom to come back and now that I'm getting back to the swing of things, I'm really starting to see that like you can't put a time on your on, on your progress. You know, like everybody have had their own time and everybody had their own journey and things that they're going to face and things they got to overcome to kind of get to where they're going at. And you just gotta appreciate what you going through at the time. Oh, that's a fact. Yeah. So like the thing is, like, like I said, the whole time I knew you was little on Instagram. Right. But even before, right, like when I first met you, I think you were like the first person that was lit on social media. Yeah. You I feel like as a young and yeah, I, I was. I yeah. definitely feel like I met a lot of other people through you. You know what I'm saying? Like right. I feel like you right. put that's a true. lot of people on just when it kinda of, just period. Like when it kinda of artists, we talked about the whole President Debo thing, like not yeah. even saying you put them on, but right, right, right. the fact that you brought that light to a, a specific song, the, uh, the Jess Hilarious is the, uh, the yeah, smooths, the G songs, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's like I'm just trying to figure out how do you take that? Because we were talking on the radio station, yeah. and like you said, you reached out to a comedian in DC, and he was yeah. like, well, I charge this. I charge, yeah. And the fact that's that, like, cool. <laughs> you gotta go through that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, and that's real, bro. And, and, and honestly, and like you just, you just put up a post recently, right? And I saw it, and you was like, you're not supporting nothing unless it's genuine. Right. And if it's one that I can say, I'm a genuine person. Like I don't, I don't go into things expecting things. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I always expect all the time. Yeah. I always expect like no, I don't want nothing from nobody. But if I can do what I can to help you get somewhere, I'm gonna do that because I feel like people deserve it. Right. Like, like I, I, I honestly believe in hard work. Like um the other day. I saw a guy post Trap the Kid, shout out to him, you know, and his Instagram and everything. Yo, he's a, like, I don't even listen to his music, but I see his grind. Right. Because I follow him. So I see him posting, I see him dropping music, I see it. So he, he put up a post and was like, yo, if I, get, if I can get 20 comments, I'm dropping my new song. And I'm like, damn, mm -hmm. my man only want 20 comments. And he had 18 when I saw it. So I'm like, fuck it, let me be 19. Right. You feel me? No, so I definitely. commented, I was like, yo, drop this. And I put all the fire signs up. And he screenshot and reposted like, yo, who at to you, man? He waiting. And it's like, damn, if I can be that beacon for somebody, if I can be that, that, that you know, that, that gateway for somebody, like, why not? No, like, I, it's not costing any harm. You know, I, support. I, I, like, I talk about that with myself um, <laughs> all the time, just period. I feel like, so when I was, um, when I was younger, right, I used to believe I was real big on, um, I was, like, really religious. Okay. And I'm more spiritual now. Yeah, so at yeah, first yeah, it was too. like, yo, um, I was learning that the only reason you here on earth is to teach somebody else about God, right? Yeah. So yeah. as as I got more spiritual, I kind of made my own theory. Yeah. And I feel like the only reason we here on earth is to help somebody else up. So like I feel like, and a lot of people always say, they always you always hear people talking about something like, um, don't let somebody use you, or somebody always trying to use this person and use that person. I feel like if you can't be used, you're useless. You know what I'm saying? So it's man, like, that, hey, I, I was just listening so, to it. Yo, that's nah, real. so in the fact, so like, I feel like, and I that's like real. you see Flo, um, Flo always like put something towards your, your dreams today, and there's nothing wrong yeah. with that, right? And I like, I take the motto and I be like, yo, if you don't do anything else today, help somebody else out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It's not yeah. to get help in return. Yeah. It's just because that's just the the right thing to do, right? right? Like, who am I to say what's right? But that's just, like, for me and my character, I feel like to help somebody else out is the right thing to do, no matter what, no matter how down bad I am, how how high yeah, up I am. Very true. So it's like, very the true. fact that I, to get back to the question, like, the fact that I've seen that through you, and I've seen just the responses from everybody else, not to say my name, but just, just to see, like, not the lack of support, but the lack thereof, whatever that is, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. When, when, when it was you on the higher end of this thing, it was like, yo, you was putting on so many people. And I love, even at my comedy show, I was like, yo, if I got a, if I got 10 minutes in between my comedy shows, why not bring an artist up and let them rap? Man, who really like bringing artists at a comedy show? You know what I'm saying? But it's like, why not? So like, how, you, you that how you think you can get back to like being that cool act? You to, know what I'm saying? Because it's like, because you step back, yeah. you gotta start from scratch. You know what I'm saying? How is that process? And, and I'm gonna be honest, like, I always been one for a challenge, you know what I'm saying? That's why I did what I did as far as, like, or, or wise. I always been one for a challenge. And if it's one thing I love, it's the situation I'm in. Because now it's like, all right, you had it, and you kind of stepped back. But now I'm in a position where 
I can come back and show people like, oh yeah, it's always there. You right. know what I'm saying? You can get it no matter what because Maybe what's for so you is for you. That's a fact. You I know, what's for time. you is for you. Nobody, nobody can take that away. Right. So yeah, I took that step back, but now I'm here and I got a whole nother approach and my mindset is totally different going into it this time. So it's like, I'm number one, anxious to find out the, the, the responses and the the results I can get from this approach. And number two, I feel like it's gonna show people like, dang, sure they really got it. Like not only did he help this person, help that person, help this person and fell off, but he came back on mm-hmm. another level that was like, golly, like you really did that? That's a fact. You know, so now I, I love the fact that even if it takes 10 years, it, it, you know, it's for me. It's so done. that's my journey, that's you know, and, I, and I'm loving every bit of, I, I love the people that I don't talk to anymore because when they get there, I'm pretty sure they're going to be like, oh, hey, no, I, I, remember, up, like, remember, like, like, remember we did it? Do you like, remember? <laughs> even the guy that just hit me and was like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm charging. I love the hustle. I love it and I respect every bit of it. You know what I'm saying? But believe me, I start my comedy show September 9th. When them joints start banging and you hit me up and say, yo, bro, can I get 10, 15 minutes? Oh, yeah, you got to pay for that. You, you know pay, what I'm saying? And, you got to pay for that. It's, 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 it's all business. It's all business. <laughs> and it's out of respect because I'm one of the people that love opportunity more than I love the financial part That's of it. Mm-hmm. You know, I, 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 I rather take the opportunity because let's say if somebody's saying, all right, you know, yo, do this video with me. It might be somebody that follow me that don't like my work or fuck with my work as much that might see you in the video like, oh yeah, I need him. Right. Come here. You know, because it's an opportunity. So now your opportunity create more opportunities. So it's like opening one door, you're gonna open up two, three, four more doors you because you never know what's never right know. there, you know. But you can't you can't shut yourself down already by saying, Oh yeah, I gotta charge you this. Or you know what? We was cool a couple years ago when you was doing it, but now, you know, you ain't doing it, so it's no it's no use for you as my friend or for you to be around. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and take this step back and I bro, like like you just said, you got your own philosophy to life, right? That's the, that's the one thing to keep the world going around. Everybody have their own philosophy. So it's like what you believe in, I don't wanna believe in. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like us communicating it is what's gonna be like, oh, all right, cool. It's like, an exchange of energy, it's like you I, I get what you you believe in. You get yeah. what I believe in. Then exactly. I don't have to believe one hundred percent or wholeheartedly what you believe in. But I, I get five percent of it. You get what I'm saying? Exactly. I put that five percent into exactly. what I have, and then it makes it better. Exactly. But some people don't even see that. Some people, like I said, they before, stuck on stuck them. on this. They stuck on this, and yeah. that's where I was at before. You know what I'm saying? I, I was at that point, so I'm not mad at them because I believe the more conscious you come, the more patient you become with others. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's one of them things that like, right. I, I feel like my experiences really woke me up to be like, you know what? Just enjoy your process, enjoy what you're going through. Don't don't not deliver, but deliver at a pace that's going to be settled for you. That's you know? fact. So. Now it's crazy because like um, I was talking to my friend and he's an older guy. I swear, well, actually, um, okay. on night to Q, he was saying like, "Yo, it's crazy how life evolved, right?" And it's like I'm not gonna say bad or good, but it used to be a time where you can put in the work for something, right? And somebody will see you be like, "Yo, that nigga working his ass off." Like, let me. Let me bring him on. Let me promote him. Yeah. Now it's like you work your ass off for a company, for a firm, whatever. And it's like, oh shit, he working his ass off for, for this. Oh, I'm gonna just keep paying him this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like it's crazy yeah. how we come to that. Like now, people just be so quick to take advantage of you. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, very true. That is very what true. it is. I just believe if you be a good person, no matter what, it's always going to reciprocate itself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like Definitely. that's why. Definitely. Is a dude that um sh- shot by D Rice. I hope I said it right. But um. He had, it was a uh, Migos concert, right? Okay. At Calvin. He had asked Fathom, could he come in? But Fathom was coming in through me. And when Fathom asked me, I'm like, yeah, no problem. The same guy, I need to, like, because I've been editing my own videos, right? right. I'm, not, I'm not really good at color reading. The same guy is editing my videos now. So I, I hit him up, like, yo, I need help, da da da. He said, yeah. He came over to drop the video off. He was like, yo, you know why I did this, bro? But he's like, because, like, when I needed a break, you gave me that break. You didn't even know me. So imagine if I was just like, "Oh nah, Fatima, it's only can be you." And I and not saying I couldn't do that because it's work. I still exactly. can do that. You know what I'm saying? Because exactly. it's work. But the fact that I went out that extra mile, like, nah, I don't know him, but let him in. You right. know what I'm saying? Let me get him yeah. the opportunity. Yeah. And now he's it reciprocated itself in life, and now he's helping me out. Well, that so means like, it means a lot more, man. It, no, it, it, it means so much more for me to build genuine relationships than for me to get something. Because all I want to do is live a happy life and do what I love to do. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to make a million dollars in it. I, ain't, I just want to be comfortable in what I'm doing and do what I love to do and network with people who love to do what they love to do. But I'm not going to sit right here and shut off an opportunity or something because I'm thinking like, oh no, dang, how can I financially benefit off of this? Or what can I what can I use this person for? Because like, 
Like you know what I'm saying? Like what's done in the light comes to dark. That's a fact. Like I'm a firm believer in that because dark comes to light. even even your ways of thinking in the dark, in the dark meaning like in your mind, because I can't see what you're thinking. You feel me? But like, it comes out. You can think one thing and then out. act another way. Subconscious is ex- always gonna oh come out. I swear to like you know. I exactly. started telling people people be so yes. big when I be like, yo, people be like, yes. yo, like hypothetically, <laughs> yes. like, let's say like what you think, yeah, in your subconscious, no matter how much you think. It, it ain't doing nothing, but because you're thinking that, it's gonna eventually it's gonna come out. Show. You eventually, know what I'm saying? It's even like, if it's years, even if it take, even if it take cool aunt to go to school and fall back, you know what I'm saying? That way that you was thinking, like, oh, alright, you know what I'm saying? What can I use this person for? Because you know, it's plenty of people who've done it. Like, it's plenty of people who I felt like that I helped that was in a position of like, alright, yeah, I, I'm done school, I'm back on the scene. They could you know definitely what back what, what, can, what can you do for me to help me kind of get to where? Not you at, but get to where I was. Even if you can help me get to where I was, but I, I'm never. I'm, I'm. I promise you, man. I love and support everybody. Like I'm rooting for people. I hope you do great. I hope you do amazing. Because all I can say is, when my time come, now come. I know the type of relationship it is. You That's know, and, and thank God that I was able to take those steps back and able to see it and realize it and humbly approach it and not approach it in a way of like, oh no, nah, man. I'm gonna get on Instagram and talk shit about this person because they did it or I'm gonna make a diss track about this person because they did it or this video. <laughs> All right, this video, like, nah, you know, it's not even about none of that. Like, end of the day, people, people got exactly. Man, I ain't, I ain't fought nobody for that mindset. We, we grew up in a rough city for it. We, we, you sometimes you gotta think like that. That's a but fact. You so, know, so what's next then? Like, yeah, so you said a comedy show. Yeah, I got a comedy show September the 9th That's coming up. I actually been working on a movie script. I just started last night. Like I, I already wrote page one of the movie script, and I'm all about just getting started. So I got a movie script that I'm starting to write. I'm looking to film it either next summer or next fall. Mm-hmm. But it's one of them things where I'm not rushing because when it when it drop, I. I meet so many good people, but I never had nothing in hand to give them. To right. be like, hey, check me out. You know, like, not even like a comedy highlight reel of like me doing stand up. So, right now, I'm all, I'm all about documenting everything that I'm doing and actually building that resume to where if I meet these Kevin Hart's or I meet these, you know, Tory Smith, so anybody, anybody that can possibly put me in a position of anything, I can give them something solidified to be like, look, pass it to the next person. Right. You know, because it's easy to be like, oh, yeah, I'm a comedian. You know, what you got, what work do you got? Follow me on Instagram. Like, that's easy. Who's not doing that? Right. You know, but to actually step outside of that and be Since like, look, like exactly like Conduani, you know what I'm saying? That's mm-hmm. my bro. You know, he, he just dropped his second book in a short film, you know? So right, that's, he, he can go to he, he can go to anybody event and stand outside and be like, yo, I got books for sale. Like he can spit a poem and be like, if y'all like my poem, buy my book. Right. So that that's the approach I want to take is it, it, is turn my passion into revenue. And it don't even have to be financial, it can just be in the support of the people. I mean, you can let them know where the, uh, the comedy show will be at. So the comedy show, September the 9th, at, is at Chum City Mead, right here on Biddle Street. Biddle and Guilford, you know what I'm saying? Y'all can search the, uh, you can really just type in Chum City Mead. It's the only one in the city to pop right up. Brand new bar they just opened. You know they just find the whole city. That's so, you know, it's one of those bars that you'll walk in and be like, hold on, this on Greenmount and Biddle or Guilford and Biddle. So, uh, right in between Guilford and Greenmount, you know, they both run a long way. Uh, Going towards downtown or the downtown area, free parking and everything in that nature. Like, like, like I said, it ain't about the profit. I just want everybody to come out and have a good time. You know, I'm selling tickets for five dollars. You know, it's been a while since I did anything, and I just want people to see I still got it. Like, like regardless of how long I've been gone or how long I chilled out or whatever the case may be, it's still there because. I always did it for the love. I, I never did it looking for a profit. I never did it looking for. I used to have people in the comedy shows for free at Cool Sundays. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if people remember. Like, I used to be like, look, if you ain't got it, send me a DM. I, I'll let you in for free. I'll meet you at the door personally and walk you right in. And I used to really do that, you know? And, and that paid off for me in the long run. So right now, like, it's all about getting back, getting back to where it was and what I was doing. So. Oh, definitely, definitely, man. You got my support as always. Hey, you sure. already know, man. Look, definitely. man, you heard it first, man. You. you take anything from this interview, just take away from. Just be genuine if you want to do something, though, because you sure. want to do it, do it from your from your heart. That's real. And that's it, man. J-Hill, cool, man. Be locked down. Locked in and locked out. <laughs>